Hi Joe, welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with your little, little girl Lucy and with Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is what Lucy's been doing during her vacation and that's obedience training. Now the first thing that we're going to take a minute to introduce is the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on her training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Your mom supplied us with a training collar and she's gonna be coming home with that. So you'll be able to practice all your commands. Now she's gonna be sitting very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Lucy heal, and that means to walk nicely next to me, next to my left leg, and each time that I stop my feet, you sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So this makes walking her a lot more fun. She doesn't have her nose on the ground the whole time she's walking. She's walking next to you, not dragging you. And the next exercise that Fred's going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. You're going to practice this exercise for about 20 seconds, working all the way up to three minutes. When Fred returns back to her, he's going to walk all the way around her as an additional distraction and she remains seated until she gets another command and they take off healing again. And the heal command's great because when you're walking your puppy down the street, she's not looking or acting like a maniac. She's walking nicely next to you. If you stopped across the street or talked to a neighbor, she should sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. And because she is a beagle, she can be, she can test you. So don't lose your temper because then she has beat you. You just have to make sure that she completes these exercises as they were taught. This time, instead of returning back to her, Fred's gonna call her, this is the recall. And he uses her name and she comes right in front and sits facing his knees. And then she goes back to heel position and back sitting. Very good. And we will demonstrate that come on command for you again. And she, I mean, she's all beagle. She is. She loves to go out in the yard and just sniff and bay and look for squirrels. I mean, in that respect, she's truly a hunter. Fred leaves her in another sit stay. He turns to face her. He's going to use her name and lighten his tone a little bit. Encourages her to come in. Tells her she's a good girl on the way in, and she comes right in front and sits. And then she goes back to heel and back sitting. Very good. Now the next exercises that we're going to be demonstrating for you are your down commands. And there are two. There's down from a heel position and down from a distance. So the first one is your down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you take your left open palm, push it straight down toward the ground, and give the one word command to down and then stay. Your long down stay, practice right in your house. You don't have to go outside. She's more likely to hold it if it's not cold on her belly. You're gonna start out with about a minute, work all the way up to five. When Fred returns back to her, he walks all the way around her just as he did on the sit stay and she should remain lying there until she gets praised and gets another command. And she can have really, really on days where her obedience is stellar and she can have really, really off days when she's not good at all. But continuing to practice with her is really gonna help you. And I know she's your baby. This is another down from a heel position. Yeah. 
So now that you have the tools and you have your video, you'll be able to practice with her. This time Fred's going to call her in. She comes right in and sits. And then they go back to healing and we're going to try to demonstrate her down from a distance. This is how you're going to do it, even if she doesn't do it real great for us. You're going to leave her in a sit-stay. You're going to turn to face her. You're going to use your right hand to give the command. And you can see she knows exactly what she's supposed to do. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> she acts like she's going to the gallows. Now we've demonstrated for you all of Lucy's formal obedience commands. If you're so inclined, practice and she'll only continue to get better. And thank you for letting us spend our time with Lucy.